I think we are going to take a break from the racing today. Well, we have to take a break. Today's Monday. Nobody's racing today. We're going to go see if the bass are biting into the ditches. I've been trying some pike fishing and whatnot, some dog fishing in the ditches, and nothing was really working. They just weren't producing. But bass season is open. Hopefully they know it's okay to bite. Let's head down to the ditches and see what's going on. Well, spot number one. See lots of fish jumping. Water's pretty dirty. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh. I was just about to pull that out of the water. He's just a little fella. He was hiding right up alongside the culvert here. He's not going to give me a second chance after that. There we go, number two. That's a nice little bass. There we go, that's a nice fish. Really nice fish. Two casts, two bass. This ditch is only 10 feet wide, maybe a foot and a half deep. I thought it might be too dirty, but apparently they don't care. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, stop number two. We're only 100 meters from the last spot, but this one here I like to call the hole. Because y'all basically all your fish is a hole here. And uh, two culverts. Kind of look like they're covered in weeds here. We might have a problem. I'm going to try this from the top. I don't know how well this is going to work. There he is. Oh. All right. We're going to have to go through the weeds to try and get them because they're in there. Spot number three. This water is a lot dirtier than it is at the other end. All right, we're down to the spot we've been many times before. This water looks dirtier than usual, which is odd. 
but uh, first thing we're checking for is snakes because uh, this guy uh, does not do well just being honest Well, we are back where we started. We've tried a couple other spots and no luck. So we're gonna see if there's more than just those two fish here. You know, it's early in the season, so it's not likely that uh, it's filled up yet, but it's a start. Let's try the other side. That was a good bite there. There be anything in here from largemouth bass to pike. Dogfish. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, very nice. He was just waiting. Waiting. Another good bass. Oh. Ditch fishing. Never underestimate a good ditch. That guy had hit this once over here and let it go and gave me a second shot at it. So he initially had some commitment issues but then uh, temptation gave in. Oh, you can't see it, but I can see the water disturbed here. That may have been me pulling him out of there, but initially when he bit and let go, he disturbed the water himself. So the reason they are hiding down in here on both sides of the culvert, it's an ambush point. So if something comes out of the culvert, happens to make a left or a right, they get ambushed. That water's about two and a half feet deep there. We'll try this side one more time. We may only have three for the day, which is not bad because these ditches have not been producing until today. <laughs> no way. No way. He was sitting right there in that little pocket. Get out of here. Get out of here. That little clearing 
in the duckweed. This guy was sitting in there. You gotta be kidding me. That was funny. Well, well unfortunately, I think that's gonna do it. We only got three fish, a couple of good hits. But the main thing is that ditches are starting to produce again because, like I said, they have not produced at all until today. Hopefully, we can get some more big ones and uh, up the quantity a little bit. That's all I got for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, see you on the next one.